1939, the armies of Nazi Germany begin their conquest of Europe. First of all is Poland, then Denmark, Norway, France, Belgium, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands. Now the year is 1941. With an army over seven million strong, the Nazi war machine turns to the east and begins the invasion of the Soviet Union. Using blitzkrieg tactics, they advance quickly, smashing relentlessly through the Soviet defenses and arrive at the capital city of Moscow in under four months. Desperately short of reinforcements, the Soviet defense of Moscow now falls to thousands of raw recruits who must hold out against the well-trained German forces in the freezing cold of the Russian winter. Welcome to basic training, comrades. If you wish to survive, you will do exactly as I say. Now, walk over to that table and pick up those weapons. You will have to move faster than that, comrade. You will need a real weapon if you wish to kill the fascists. Look at your compass. The star on the compass shows the location of your current objective. Now, go to the storeroom and get a pistol and a rifle. Move! The weapons are on the table, comrade. Good. Now go back and report to the commissar. Very good, comrade. Always remember to use the star on your compass to reach your current objective. Okay, Vasily. Let us see how good your aim is. Aim for one of those two teddy bears. Good, now fire at the other one. Pistols and submachine guns might be good for short range, comrade, but for long range targets, a rifle is better. Step up to the shooting range. Ready, comrades? Shoot those bottles and plates. Imagine that they are the enemy. your sights, Vasily. You will be much more accurate that way. Very good, comrade. Well done. Very good, comrade. That's enough, Vasily. Now, let's see how well you can do under pressure. You have 15 seconds to shoot the helmets. Ready? Go! Now come over here and bash this mannequin with your rifle. That's enough, comrades. Come over here and pick up a grenade. These are potatoes, comrade commissar. Why are we using potatoes instead of real grenades? Because real grenades are valuable. In fact, they are worth a lot more than you are. Oh, of course, comrade commissar. My, my mistake. Now throw a potato into each of those marked target areas. Good throw! Very good, comrade. Not bad, not bad. Comrade Commissar! Comrade Commissar! We've got a prisoner. Come take a look. Sie auf! Bitte töten Sie mich nicht! Unsere Truppen und Sie sind in der Position schon Behind our lines. Und, und to the southeast. Von Kettenfahrt and they are supported by half trucks and mobile artillery. Sir! There's a German attack forming to the southeast! It looks serious! Listen, comrades. There is an armory to the east in the basement of a house. Go there and load up on ammunition and supplies. I will stay and take care of our guest. Remember what you have learned. Over me! Good luck. Enemy in the pit! Over by the half trap! He's the low position! Over the back wall! Move it! Die, friend! We'll die! You had in his face! Enemy in the pit! Over by the half trap! He's in the low position! Take us to Moro! Single fire! Vasily first! We'll follow! Yeah! <laughs> 
take out some Panzer Horsers, comrades. Grab a submachine gun and make sure you reload it first. Always make sure you have a full magazine before you go into battle. Let's go, comrades. Up the ladder. Vasily, wait! Don't run out there! Throw a smoke grenade first to conceal our movement! Wait! Wait for the smoke to fail! Hold your positions, comrades! Just a bit more! All right, go! Let's go! We were in training. There is no better training, comrade, than fighting to survive. Thank you. 
this place is to worry about! It's the Germans! Ah!
in Deckung gehen! Los! Geh auf! Sie wissen doch bald, dass du keine Chance hast! Lauf lieber weg, du Sau! Stalingrad, 1942. German forces, having reduced the city to rubble in a massive aerial bombardment, meet with heavy resistance as the Soviet Red Army throws its entire force into the defense of Stalingrad. In the chaos of constant warfare, battle lines have dissolved. The ruins of the city have been divided up into hard points surrounded by no man's land. The German tactical advantage of the mechanized Blitzkrieg and its coordinated infantry and tank attacks is rendered useless in the concentrated street fighting. Threatened with execution if they retreat, the Soviet troops have no choice but to push forward into the bloodbath. Vasily, take second squad and repair the field phone wire. I'll clear these buildings with first squad and meet you on the other side. Go!
you coming! Okay!
approaching your sector. Hand those bastards down. Good luck. Help.
Okay, Conrad, this way. Let's go! Good luck, comrades.
January 2nd, 1943. Surrounded on all sides by Soviet forces, the German 6th Army at Stalingrad continues to crumble in the absence of a desperately needed supply line. Many German soldiers trapped in the city, who are now literally starving and running out of ammunition, continue to fight regardless, fearing that the Soviets will execute those who attempt to surrender. The fighting amongst the firebombed ruins of the city intensifies as thousands of Soviet infantry continue to retake Stalingrad one block at a time.
Comrades, the fascists have recaptured several apartments along this street. Our duty is to take back these buildings one by one and then destroy their ammunition depot near City Hall. Let's go!
This is the quickest way to the city hall, comrades. Through here, let's go!
him! for Pavel to get that bastard's attention. Pavel, do it. Yes, comrade. Red building, second floor! Good shot, comrade. Well done, Vasily. Now let's move on. We still have to secure the rest of City Hall. On me! Okay, I'm with you!
I got you covered! I'm ready when you are! Desert Fox, Field Marshal Erwin Rommel, arrives in Libya to assume command of the Africa Corps. Within a few months, Rommel, the rising star of the German army, recaptures the territory taken by the British Commonwealth forces prior to his arrival. Despite being heavily outnumbered by the British forces, the superior range and armor of the German tanks allows the Africa Corps to take the fight to the Allies. By July of 1942, the Desert Fox and his unstoppable Africa Corps, in a series of classic blitzkrieg attacks, pushes the British forces eastward across the deserts of Libya and into Egypt. Now in late 1942, holding their ground a mere 60 miles from the Egyptian capital of Cairo, British Field Marshal Montgomery's forces, including the Desert Rats of the 7th Armoured Division, prepare to blunt the German offensive and regain the initiative. Queen 6, this is King 6. Enemy tanks sighted leaving the depot. We're commencing our attack. Out. This is it, boys. Our decoys should keep those panzers busy while we wipe out their supplies. Let's go! Oh, 
for enemy intelligence. Uh, we don't have time to collect a lot of stupid maps. Shut it, McGregor. Uh, I said keep your bloody mouth shut, Private.
Let's go! We're needed back in the town, sir. Jerry tanks have been spotted advancing on our positions to the east. Looks like we're in for a bloody hard fight, lads. Get us back quickly, Private. Yes, sir. Davis, McGregor, get in the Bren carrier. Move! We're finished here.
Are you there, Queen Six? Over! Bloody hell! More Jerry's to the north!
Split into groups of six per tank. Come on, boys. Let's go. Stay with the tanks.
right, lead the way! Those buildings are the rally points! Enemy troops! Up on the top floor! Break down those jerrys! Clear these buildings! Move, move, move! and tell Monty's boys that we've secured the rally point. Well done, boys. You've just taught Rommel a lesson. Ross, cover me while I reload!
Sasa uye wat!
Listen up. We're finished here. Well done, boys. I'll drink to that, sir. Libya, 1943. The British Crusader tank enters its second year of service in the North African Desert Campaign. Desert tank warfare proves difficult and challenging for both sides. Dust clouds kicked up by the movement of the tanks and the firing of their cannons create poor visibility conditions during combat. Navigation is also a problem. The vast Libyan desert offers little in the way of recognizable landmarks. The British Crusaders, whose guns lack the range of their German counterparts, are forced to use massed high-speed charges to close within firing range. A dangerous strategy that leaves much to be desired.
Tunisia, 1943. Gaining momentum, the Allies press Rommel's Africa Corps into the Marath Line, a 22-mile stretch of defences in eastern Tunisia. Having lost their main supply base in Libya in January of 1943, the Africa Corps prepares to hold their ground on two sides, as they are now trapped between the American forces to their west and the British Commonwealth forces to the east. Despite these advantages, the Allies must proceed with caution, for the local terrain favours the defenders.
take out any crowds behind us. I said, consider it done. Come on, you jelly bastards. Squid go. Keep pushing towards the rally point. Come on. Where's the rally point? The rally point's to the south. Jerry's! Keep moving, sir. We'll cut the rear. Cut him down. It's too late, McGregor. We've got to reach that rally point. Davis, let's go! The jerrys are closing in from behind! I'll teach those bastards a lesson! Forget it, McGregor. The rally point is just up ahead.
Bikes! German troops! On the side of the sun bikes! Take out those Jerry's!
possess of these supplies. Be prepared to move out in two hours. Dismissed. and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force. You are about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. He will fight savagely. But this is the year 1944. Much has happened since the Nazi triumphs of 1940-41. The United Nations have inflicted upon the Germans great defeats in open battle, man to man. Our air offensive has seriously reduced their strength in the air and their capacity to wage war on the ground. Our home fronts have given us an overwhelming superiority in weapons and munitions of war and placed at our disposal great reserves of trained fighting men. The tide has turned. The free men of the world are marching together to victory. I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty, and skill in battle we will accept nothing less than full victory. Good luck, and let us all beseech the blessing of Almighty God upon this great and noble undertaking.
forward! Yes, sir!
Baker 1-6 calling Sugar Charlie 6. Located Point to Hawk. Mission accomplished. Need ammunition and reinforcements. Many casualties. Over.
squad needs you. Let's go. Sarge, I got through. Points at Omaha Beach are on the way. We also got some fly boys coming in over the channel. Coming in when? How long, Greybird? About five minutes, sir.
At dawn on the morning of the 6th of June, 1944, the Rangers looked up and saw the enemy soldiers at the edge of the cliffs shooting down at them with machine guns and throwing grenades. And the American Rangers began to climb. They shot rope ladders over the face of these cliffs and began to pull themselves up. When one Ranger fell, another would take his place. When one rope was cut, a Ranger would grab another and begin his climb again. They climbed, shot back, and held their footing. Soon, one by one, the Rangers pulled themselves over the top. And in seizing the firm land at the top of these cliffs, they began to seize back the continent of Europe. 225 came here. After two days of fighting, only 90 could still bear arms. These are the boys of Puente Lo. Sounds like we've got screaming memes up ahead, but I couldn't make visual contact. I did spot an 88 on the other side of the hedgerow. Expect a crew of at least two and a couple of MG42s. So what's the plan, Sarge? I need runners with suppressing fire. Garcia, Hawkins, take the left with Rosetti and Jones. The rest will follow me up the right flank. I want grenades on them as soon as we're in range. Brayburn, McCloskey, and Taylor, you stay back and provide a base of fire. Keep those cruds off us so we can move in. All right, move up, wait for my signal.
amerikanische Truppen! Oben im ersten Stock!
Use your smoke grenades! Find that silo with Braeburn and McCloskey and watch for an enemy counterattack. Everyone else, take up positions around the perimeter and stay sharp.
This is Dog 5! Objective taken at Rally Point Echo! Enemy infantry counterattacking in force! Request additional support! Over! Dog 5, this is Baker 6. I got a couple of Shermans headed your way. Do respect, sir! I don't think we're gonna last that long! Over! Work, everyone. Make sure your sectors are well covered and we'll meet back here in an hour. Dismissed. June 11th, 1944. Only a few miles east of the American landing beaches in Normandy, France, British Commonwealth forces struggle to capture the major city of Caen. It is here that they are faced with the superior firepower of elite panzer divisions arrayed along the German defensive line. 
To break the stalemate, the veteran desert rats of the 7th Armoured Division are sent into the hedgerows of Normandy. Their mission? Probe the western flank of the German defences and clear a path to the city of Caen. Listen up. McGregor will take 2nd Squad down this road and hit the Jerry's right flank. The rest of us will do our part by cutting through the orchard and keeping the Jerry's busy. Let's go!
Thieves find some blood! Oh, oh, that is a drop in! Oh, we must stop! Turn to the Tommies! You have been asked to them! Fire, lads. I say we slot the sod in lot of them. Hold your fire, that's an order. Whatever you say, sir. McGregor, get over here. You remember that German lorry we passed over to the east? We do, sir. Get it working and bring it here. Sergeant Davis, go with McGregor. We need something to transport all these yanks. We'll do, sir. Davis, check your gear. There might be more Jerry's out there. War's not over just because we won this little fight. <laughs> Sergeant Davis! The lorry's over this way! to be in good shape. The Jerrys were even nice enough to leave us a full tank of petrol. Come on, Davis, jump in the back and give us some cover. I've almost got a bugger. There! Hold on, Davis. This might get a little bumpy.
Sergeant. You know, Davis, I almost envy this lot of Yanks. The bloody war's over for these poor bastards. Listen up. We've been ordered to take the crossroad to this village and hold it until our convoy arrives. Let's go! Careful, lads! There's an MG-42 at the end of this road!
something! Enemy armor approaching from the crossroads! Let's go! Controls this crossroads. Davis, take some of the lads and check that farmhouse for Fritz. Let's go! Check the bar. Sergeant Davis, search the bar for enemy radios and put them out of commission. Ich 
the west! Take up defensive positions, lads! Hold them off until the convoy arrives!
That's done it, men. One less flak on to worry about. Come on, let's get moving. We've got to secure the church. Let's get some fire on those windows! Establish a base of fire from this building! Focus your fire on the church! Black troops! By the church!
Let's get this town in order. and take out those mortars. McGregor, get that barn door open. Stick with me! I'm right behind you! It's an MG-42! Oh, oh, it's on the second floor! Oh, 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 oh,
centerpiece of the German defense here. We've got to capture it. Six to easy six. We've taken our bloody objective. Over. Understood, King Six. Be advised. All enemy patrols sighted approaching your flank. Stop our flank against the German counter attack. You must buy us enough time to move the rest of the division to safety. Out. You heard it, lads. Take up defensive positions in a farmhouse. Let's move. Army They'll be coming from the south. Find a good position and get okay, it. Okay, I'm with you.
Right, let's go. Regroup out back. Fine work, men. The Seventh Armored's made it out of this mess thanks to our efforts on this flank. That said, our job here is done. So let's get the hell out of here. December 7th, 1944. Allied forces cross the border between Belgium and Germany, encountering heavy resistance near the town of Bergstein. Towering over the small town is Hill 400, providing German artillery spotters with a perfect view of Allied forces for miles in all directions. Devastating artillery barrages directed from the summit inflict numerous losses upon the Allies. Now, the US 2nd Ranger Battalion prepares to capture the hill, and deny its use to the Germans. Listen up! Battalion wants us freezing our asses off on top of that hill by the end of tomorrow. First, we gotta kick Jerry out of this cute little town. On me! Okay, I'm with you!
road's blocked off. We're gonna have to cut east. Let's go! to those enemy mortars. my command. Kick open the door and frag those crowds. Ready? Now!
von der deutschen Armee!
Dog Company, listen up. We're the only ones left. Everyone else is either dead or wounded. Battalion has promised to relieve us soon, but I wouldn't hold my breath until we get some. German counter attack! Counter attack! Come on! Enemy move, water move. teams moving up the hill! Taylor, get out there and Let's take go. out those cross border teams! Everyone else, get to your stations! Move! Let's go. Don't let the crows get into this bunker! We got a lot of wounded in here! Carter, wait for first squad to move out, then secure the main door! Yes, sir! Get moving, people!
job, guys. We did it. March 7th, 1945. In an extraordinary turn of events, a single bridge across the Rhine River is captured intact by the US 9th Armored Division. German forces desperately establish new pockets of defense along the length of the Rhine River in an effort to slow the Allies' advance. Then, on March 24th, a massive assault is unleashed by Allied airborne divisions to secure positions east of the Rhine. At the same time, at various points up and down the river, more Allied forces prepare to make their own crossings into the heart of Germany.
Corporal! There's still crowds all over the place! Watch your back! Don't let your guard down! Jerry's! By the barrels! To the northwest! Private! Get behind that wall! took on the best troops Germany had to offer and sent them running for their mamas up and down the Rhine. I'm proud to serve with you men. You're all good rangers, that's for damn sure. Sergeant Randall, one more thing. I don't know about the gentleman part, but how'd you like to be an officer? I'm offering you a field commission as a lieutenant. Good leaders are hard to come by. What do you say? Well, I'd be honored, sir. But the thing is, we'd be short of sergeant. Corporal Taylor here, he might be worth looking at. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind, Lieutenant. See to your men. Dismissed. April 16th, 1945. The Soviet Red Army commences its attack on Berlin, the capital city of Nazi Germany. Half a million soldiers and civilians alike perish in a terrible battle that lasts for nearly three weeks. As the Allied forces converge on Berlin from both east and west, the Nazi leadership begins to crumble under the weight of imminent defeat. On the 8th of May, 1945, the German armed forces surrender unconditionally to the Allies. At a cost of 50 million deaths, the war in Europe is finally over. Throughout the Allied nations, Victory in Europe Day is officially celebrated, marking the defeat of Nazi Germany and the fall of the Third Reich. <laughs>